Hey there, it's Izzy here again. In this video, I want to answer another very common question I've been receiving, and that is how can you access your own custom royalty-free music from within the Final Cut Pro interface so it's very easy as you're editing your video project to just browse through your music and then drag music in as you need it? Well, the answer to this question is yes, you can do it, but it's not the most elegant solution in the whole world in my opinion. However, if you follow the steps that I demonstrate in this video, you should be just fine. The first thing I'll do is I'll show you what it's going to look like when we're done. So I'll come up to the photos and audio sidebar and click on that to switch over to it. And then I've got the sound effects category selected. And this is the first thing I don't like about this solution is that it puts your music inside the sound effects category, which to me doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's how it works. So that's what we do. And then with that selected, I can come up here and click on this pop-up menu. And then I have quite a few different folders installed on my computer. And one of them is called My Custom Royalty Free Music. And this is my own custom folder. And then inside there, I have other folders. For example, there's a folder here called Izzy Video Music. And then inside there, I have different folders. For example, there's one here called Looking Forward. So if I select that, it'll just show me the music that's inside that Looking Forward folder. And then from here, what I can do is select something, to see the waveform up here, I can click the little play button here to audition it. And I'll stop the playback. If I want to use this, I can just click it and drag it, bring it down into my project and attach it as a connected clip like this. Anyway, so that's how it's going to work when we're all done. I'm going to hit Command Z. And then what I'll do is I'll show you step by step how to set this up. I've closed down Final Cut Pro. And now what I want to do is explore my hard drive a little bit. So I'm going to go to the Finder, File, New Finder window. And then you can have your audio stored anywhere you want on your computer. In my case, I have all my music stored on an external hard drive. So I'm going to scroll down. And then when I see my locations, here's my external hard drive. It's called Thundercat. I'll select it. And then here is the folder that has my music, my custom royalty free music. And if I twirl it down, then you can see there's a folder called Izzy Video Music and a folder called Third Party Music. If I twirl this down, you can see other folders inside there. And if I twirl that down, you can see here are the music files themselves. Anyway, I'm going to twirl this up. So the way this is structured is the way it's going to show up inside Final Cut Pro. And you can have this any way you want. Anyway, I'm going to close this and I'll close this. And the next thing I need to do is create an alias that points to this folder. And the way you do that is you just control click or right click on it and choose make alias. And I'll hit return on the keyboard to get out of rename mode. You can see the alias is called my custom royalty free music alias. And it's a very small file size. If I move this over here a little bit, you can see it's a one kilobyte file. And all that does is just point to this other folder. So now we're done in this window. What I'm going to do is move this over and then I'm going to open up another finder window. So I'll go to file new finder window. And then in this window, we need to navigate to our system hard drive. So in this case, I have it listed here. It's called Macintosh hard drive. I'll select it. If it's not there, you might need to come down here and click on Macintosh hard drive under locations. Once you're on your system drive, you should see a folder called library. I'll double click on that. And then I'll go inside the audio folder and then I'll go inside the Apple loops folder and then inside the Apple folder. And then there's a folder here called final cut pro sound effects. I need to go inside that. And then this is where I need to put my alias. So I'm going to come over here to this window. I'll grab this, my custom royalty free music alias file. I want to grab the alias file and I'll just drag this over like this and drop it inside this window alongside these other folders that are already there. And then I can delete this one. I'll just control click or right click on it and choose move to trash. And then inside this window, I'll rename this to get rid of the word alias. I'll just click on it a second time and delete the word alias and hit return. And now this alias is pointing to the music that's on my external hard drive. Once you have this set up, then what you can do is on your external hard drive, you can add more folders, you can put more music inside them, you can move the music around. If you make any changes, you want to make sure you close down Final Cut Pro and then open it up again. That way the changes will be reflected inside the interface. But now that I have that alias inside this window over here, now what I can do is open up Final Cut Pro. And then sure enough, you can see up here in the sound effects category and then in this pop-up menu, here is that My Custom Royalty Free Music folder. And now I have access to any of the music that's inside that folder on my external hard drive. That's how you set this up. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.